Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Life with Linda. Now, before I start this video, <coughs> I want to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to just say, you're going to hear noises, you're going to hear people talking, you're going to hear the dog running around, squeakies, everything else, but this is my life, okay? Life with Linda. This is how it is. With a new puppy and, you know, whatever. All right, so tonight, what's for dinner tonight is I'm making chili my way, and I'm making homemade cornbread, guys. I'm not using the box. I'm making, literally making it from scratch, which I've done once before. I usually use those corn muffin boxes because they're so simple, but I, wanna, um, I want to try it homemade. All right, so let's get started now. I already started. Um, this, is, this is how I do my chili. Now, everybody does it differently. You know that. I put pepper and onion. Now, I, I have it here. I cut up. I'm going to turn this light like this when I'm cutting because you can't see from the glare. But I like to cut the onions and the peppers small. So I just chop it really, really small. I already started them because I wanted to show you guys. I'm sure everybody knows how to chop, but, you know, you never know. All right, let's see. Now, this is two small onions because I didn't have a big enough one, so I put two small onions in. All right, this is like the consistency. Okay, very tiny. And my family, you know, they're not big on the peppers and the chili, just like they're not big on the on the beans and the chili. But you know what? One of my daughter, um, my, um, somebody said to me, uh, are you going to put beans in the chili tonight? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I am. Because the majority of the people don't like the beans. But you know what? I like beans. And I'd like to have a few beans in there. So why do I never get what I want? How come they always get, they get the beans taken out? I'm going to put a small amount of beans in tonight. Because I feel like beans. Okay. This is the size pepper. Very small. Okay. I think the pepper just adds flavor to it. It's a red pepper. By all means, use a green pepper, use a yellow pepper, use whatever you got in your refrigerator. Really, that's exactly it. All right, so I put olive oil in here. I swear to God, this puppy, <coughs> can I tell you, this puppy was quiet. The minute I hit record, uh, video, he gets one of the noisiest toys and runs around with it. I think he knows. It's like he's trying to get my attention, maybe. You know puppies, how they are. All right, so this is sauteing. I'll show you. If it's not too hot, I'll show you how it looks. It's like, you know, getting a little, the onions are getting a little translucent. Now, what I'm going to do is I have two and a half pounds of 80-20 chopped meat. Um, I make a lot because my family likes the, likes the, you know, likes it. So, um, um, to make a pound, we'll, we'll do nothing. So, I have to make a big one. Now, the flame is a little low right now. I'm going to higher it a little bit. And I'm going to add it to the pan. And then I'm just going to start breaking it up, guys. Just breaking it up with a spoon. You don't want it, like, in little tiny pieces. You want nice little chunks, you know, because it is chilly. <clears throat> you know, I would prefer my chili a little warm, a little, like, spicy, but a lot of the family doesn't like it that way. So I put in just enough heat where it's tasty, but it's not, like, you know, it doesn't really hurt. Hey, and look at my... You can really see how you look in this uh, video here. <laughs> it's like a mirror. All right. So we're going to let this cook a minute. All right. Now, once this gets brown, we're going to add all the seasonings. And then we're going to add the, um, the tomato sauce. Now, you can put crushed tomatoes. I put um, either crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce in the brand that I use tonight. I went to the, today we ran to the food store. The brand that I use for some reason, I couldn't find the crushed tomatoes, so I had to get tomato sauce. I also put um, diced tomatoes in, in my chili. I love the, the little tomatoes in my chili. And if you don't have diced, if you have a can of whole tomatoes, just, just put the hole in and just crush them up with your hands or crush them in a blender or whatever you want to do. Okay, so this is, this is sauteing. Let's get this cooking. This is going to take a little bit of time. All right, so this is how the chopped meat looks now. 
okay? I drained a lot of the grease out of it, only because I don't want it too greasy, but I do like it. Um, I like to have leave a little grease in there, a little of the oil, because even like when I do tacos, I just think it keeps it moist when you do that. All right, so that's all, this is all done, you know, to its, so it's, it's, it's ready for the next step. I'm gonna add one can of, this is 14 ounces of diced tomatoes. You add as much as you want or as little as you want, guys. Like this is, you know, I, I'm making like chili my way. I'm giving you ideas. You can make chili your own way or you can add some of my stuff and, and you know, and, and not add it. It's all to your liking. Okay, three cans of the crushed, of the, um, of the tomato sauce, 28 ounces. Now, again, if you like your chili really, really thick, mostly meat, no, like not soupy, then don't add as many, you know, as many cans as tomatoes. We like it, I like it kind of, not soupy, but I like a lot of, you know, I like it to be, have a lot of, um, I like it to be a little soupy, if that makes sense. I think this is a good consistency here. But I really do like the little, little, um, chopped tomatoes in it. It really just gives it another texture and you have a little something. And do you believe I planned on making, be, putting beans in this chili tonight and I just went through my both of my pantries and I cannot find beans. The only beans that I have are these, garbanzo, and I don't think they're gonna go for that. They're very good, but I don't think they go in chili. So they get their chili without beans tonight. God, they always win, my family. <laughs> All right, so you give this a good mix. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the seasonings in. I don't know why this is out. Um, so I have one chili packet from Aldi that I got. Okay, this is original. It's not spicy or anything. I'm going to put this in. Now, if I didn't have this in the house, um, I would just make it myself. You put chili powder, paprika, some cumin, um, the garlic powder and onion powder. You know, you just kind of make your own thing. As long as you have chili powder, a little spice, you can you can do that. You don't need one of these packages. And these do have a lot of sodium sodium in them, guys. So, okay, one packet. And I'm going to taste it after I mix it and stuff because if it needs a little bit more seasoning, I might put some um, some more chili powder in it or some cumin. I'm definitely going to put onion powder and salt and pepper because you know I can't do anything without my seasoning is uh, those are my staples onion powder garlic powder salt and pepper and like i said everybody everybody use it to taste guys to your own taste okay onion powder five or six little circles garlic powder now i oh i'm sorry to say too i forgot to put the garlic powder in i mean the, the garlic um the fresh garlic so i just Put a, I just took a teaspoon and put a teaspoon in with the meat and just let it cook in there. That's that's fine. It doesn't have to be in there, you know, before the meat goes in. So I have garlic powder too because garlic powder gives a different taste than the fresh garlic. Right? It's just a deeper taste. Salt. Now, you know, you season in the beginning and then you taste it as it cooks and you see what it needs. If it needs a little bit more salt, if it needs a little bit more pepper. You can always add, guys, always. So just if you want to be a little cautious when you do it, so you don't make it too salty or don't make it too whatever, you can do that. You know, it's not it's not rocket science. It's very simple and very, um, you know, forgiving, very forgiving. Especially chili is very forgiving. Now, this looks really, really good. I'm mad about those beans. I searched both, both my cabinets. My pantry's getting low now, you know. What was happening was I was buying a lot, a lot of stuff. I think I said it on one of my other videos. I was buying a lot of stuff and my pantry was so packed and I kind of got overwhelmed with it. So now the last like three or four weeks I haven't been buying extras or, you know, like backups as my aunts and grandmother would call it. They always had to have backups in, the th in, the, in their pantry. So now what's happening is I'm running out and I don't have any backups. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good for me, guys. I need to have backups. So this weekend... I'm gonna do, get some backups slowly. You don't have to, you know, spend a lot. You don't have to go crazy. But if you, you buy, if you buy one or two items, and when you go to the food store every week, then you won't ever run out of anything. That's that. That's what I find, you know. But I mean, there's some weeks I can't buy a lot of stuff, and there's some weeks I can won't buy more stuff. So you do it as your budget allows. That's how you do it. As long as your budget allows it, then you can fill your pantry to the amount that it allows you to. If that if that makes sense.
Okay, so now this is cooking. All right, so I added everything except the seasoning. I mean, I added the seasoning. I'm gonna give it a little taste just because I wanna see if you can eat something. It's gotta simmer now. Hmm. That's really good, guys. It's gonna simmer for about, I would say about a half hour, 40, 40, 40, about half hour, 45 minutes, okay? I'm gonna make cornbread, and um, we're gonna have cornbread and delicious chili with cheese on top tonight, and a little sour cream. Everybody likes that, delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, I'll be back, and I'm gonna show you all of this when it's all, when I, I'm gonna start the cornbread, come back, and you guys can see the chili done and the cornbread being made, and all of that, okay? Okay, so, the chili's cooking. I have it on low now, simmering, that's all it needs needs about another 20, 25 minutes, and that's exactly how long the cornbread's gonna cook, guys. Has to cook. So what I did was I bought, I bought the, the yellow cornmeal, and on the back of it has all the recipes. Now they have a regular corn muffin or bread. Don't mind me, that's my dog, the puppy. He's into the recyclables. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. They have a regular corn muffin or um, cornbread recipe, but down here I saw the honey cornbread. Had to try it. Last time I made cornbread, I made the box, and it had it was the honey one. My kids loved it, so um, I made that one. So I had all the so it was very self-explanatory, guys. Just buy the cornmeal, and you can use the recipe on the back. Okay, so I mixed it all up. I did it all. I'm going to shut this light again because of the glare. I'm going to put it. Oh, let me see something but before I do that. I want to make sure it doesn't need to be greased. <gasps> greased. It does need to be greased. You see. That wouldn't have been good. That wouldn't have been good, guys. All right, so I'm gonna grease it. My vegetable oil. Copa. He's so bad. I don't even know what to do. Can I? I can't even tell you what he did in the last five minutes. You won't even. You won't even believe it. You won't even believe it. Okay, pour it all in here. Now, like I said, this is gonna cook for like 25 minutes, and the chili will be done by that time. The chili, the chili just has to boil like the first 10, 15 minutes and then you set it on, um, and then you simmer it. Okay, so, I feel like I still see some white in here. Make sure it's all combined. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes. Okay, and by that time, like I said, when that's done, the chili will be done, and I'll show you the whole meal put together. The chili's done, the cornbread is done. I'm so excited for this meal, guys. I'm gonna plate it up for you right now, okay? I just wanna show you something. Oh, Alexa, be quiet. It's my timer. Here's the chili, yum a Now, I wanna tell you, I've been tasting it as it's been cooking, and it definitely, definitely needed more seasoning. I tasted it, and to me, I, my hair looks a little funky up here. What is this, alfalfa? Uh, <laughs> I added some more salt, some, some more pepper. Wow. Garlic powder, onion powder. I even added some adobo and some chili powder because I just feel like it needed, and some more, did I say salt? Yeah, and some more salt. I just feel like it needed a little bit something, but you do it to your taste. You taste it. If you say, oh, I need more seasoning, oh, I feel like it needs more salt, add whatever you like, guys, okay? It's like I said, make it your way. This is chili my way, make it your way. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna plate it for my daughter. So this is how we like it. This is how she likes it. Okay. I'm gonna give her some chili. Okay, about this much. Then what I'm gonna do, guys, is I, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese in it. I'll show you. A little bit of cheese. This is Mexican cheese. You can put whatever kind of cheese you want. And a little bit of sour cream. This is how we like our chili. Okay, look at that. One pot meal, delicious. Now I'm so excited I'm gonna cut the cornbread. This is gonna be so good. It's still a little hot. So 
I would normally, you know, you normally probably let it sit out a couple of minutes. This is sitting out about five minutes, but that's it. But I'm really anxious to show it to you guys. Okay. Woo. Look at that, guys. Oh my God, that looks so good. Now, this is hers. I'm going to taste a little piece. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to shut the chili off, actually. Take it out. I'm going to put it on a paper plate. And you're going to put a little butter on it. See, guys, a little butter. I'm going to put a little butter on my daughter's. And this is what's for dinner tonight. Chili with homemade cornbread. Doesn't that look so great? So different, fun. Okay, I'm gonna taste this cornbread so I want you guys to know how it is. It's the honey, I made the honey one. Oh my God. Out of this world. I already taste the chili that's delicious. Cornbread is amazing. Make this recipe, guys, right off of this. Okay, I'm sure you guys have it. Right at the end, honey cornbread. Awesome. So, listen, guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below, hit the share, hit um, the notification button. This way you guys can see any of my videos when I, when I um, you know, make them. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video of chili and homemade honey, honey cornbread. And um, that's it. So I'll see you on my next video.